I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and welcome to the Drive Home to Hawkesbury, where I believe every home has a story and I love sharing those stories on real estate in the Hawkesbury with you. Here we share the best ways to add value to your property, how to avoid the common mistakes people make when buying and selling property, and how to get the maximum return on your investment with a focus on supporting local business. I live love Hawkesbury and can't wait to get into today's episode with you, so let's get started. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time you are tuning in. My name is Rachel Goldsworthy, and today we're going to look at sticking to a budget when you're renovating a house and you don't know the most effective way, whether to hire somebody or whether to take on the renovation yourself. It's always a nervous time, isn't it? And when you're getting that new house, whether it's your first home or whether it's your second home or the you know, multiple homes that you've had in the past and it's sort of, you know, you're a seasoned renovator. But I just wanted to touch base and let you know that it's okay, whatever the answer is for you. We always put so much pressure on ourselves in regards to those home renovations and we just don't know the best way to go sometimes. But I I had uh, an example the other day and I'll share that with you. We had somebody that had been looking at renovating. They bought their first home, their first home buyers, and they bought it a couple of years ago. They got in early, done a couple of you know weekends with friends and family, got all the painting done or most of the painting done, but still had bathrooms and kitchens to do and kind of just left it, lost the motivation, got busy with work, the you know our motivation sort of ran out after the, the second or third weekend once that moved in. What they ended up doing is just living as it was in an unrenovated house with a, a neatly painted house, but certainly kitchens and bathrooms were lagging a little bit. So what to do? What do you look at doing? Do you hire somebody or do you do the renovations yourself? It's a really good question. And I get asked this question all of the time. But I guess it depends on your skill level. Because if you are looking at doing some of the renovations and you are a little bit handy, you might have a trade yourself, whether you're an electrician or a painter or a plumber, whatever the case may be, it's always good to try and do things yourself. But if you do need the help of somebody, whether it is an electrician or a plumber, it's always good to ask for that help because I think a lot of us, we struggle with that asking for the help, putting our hand up. But, uh, for example, a bathroom the other day for this first home buyer couple, they were looking at putting in their vanity, um, doing their bathroom, but doing on a, on a mid-level. So they're going to do a little bit of painting, put the vanity in. The bath didn't need to be replaced. The shower didn't need to be replaced. No tiling. So it's fairly simple, but they just weren't too sure with the plumbing because they'd never done plumbing before. So what they did is they hired a plumber um, and we got a local plumber for them. And that was really good. He got in there changed over the vanity because sometimes it's a little bit hard sort of getting the pipes in the right spot or some of the the core cutting that you need to do in the back end of the vanities and also piping out and making sure that they're all in the right place and they're all heading to the right direction and then all they had to do was paint so they got the plumber to put the vanity in and then they did the painting themselves in the bathroom and they felt like a million dollars because they had this brand new looking vanity the brand new bathroom all for the cost of probably only um, the vanity in itself because the and the paint because the painting was done by them. So don't be frightened to tackle a few jobs around the house yourself. It's always really um, one of those things that you can get into and you can give it a good go. Um, unfortunately, it's sort of a little bit daunting at times when you sort of think, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, and I don't know where to start. But if you don't know where to start, always give somebody like myself a call uh, your local agent happy to help in any regards uh, when you're looking at doing some renovations around the house you can share my rolodex of trades as well i have a special um, blacklist of of trades that help me out when i need that uh, little black book um, that that help me out so they're really great guys and girls um, local people local businesses that we love to support so i can point you in the right direction of the trades that have done these jobs in the past or point you in the right direction of what sort of things you'll be needing when you're doing your home renovations. Because I've done quite a few home renovations myself over the years. I've been buying and selling property since 1990s. So uh, always happy to help and talk about real estate. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. My name's Rachel Goldsworthy. You can catch me at my website, rachelgoldsworthy.com.au, or you can contact the office on 45777964. And I look forward to catching up with you on the next video. Bye for now. 
Thank you so much for taking time out listening to today's episode. If you have any questions on the process of buying, selling, leasing or strata management, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes and I'd really appreciate it if you could spread the word by liking and sharing this episode with your family and friends. I'm Rachel Goldsworthy and I look forward to catching up with you on the next episode of the Drive Home to Hawkesbury.